not um, a good eye for design and creativity, however I do think you need to be a people person. There are situations where you do need to have difficult conversations and um, whether that be with um, other consultants or contractors, so that's really important. At school I was really into the arts, um, but I did enjoy graphic design, so I studied graphic design at GCSE, I then went on to study it at A level and then it was then that I decided that architecture was a career for me. Architecture was a career that I thought of until I was in year 12 at school. I attended an open day at Northern Grey University which you had the opportunity to go around the studios, to meet the staff, to see what projects you would be working on and it was something that I'd never thought of before and sounded really exciting. I think what I'm most proud of in my career is handing over my first project with GSS Architecture. So that was a refurbishment project for the University of Sunderland. I did have great support from my team and I think it was a real success. So I was connected with the RIB through my part one studies. However, particularly over the last year, I've really been involved and engaging with them. I think it's really important to support the next generation of architects that are coming through the door and creating a really strong network. A colleague and I started mentoring second year architecture students last year. It was something that wasn't available when I was at university and it's given the students a really good opportunity to see what's going on in the office, what projects we're involved with. Unfortunately, I didn't know what I wanted to do when I was younger. My grandfather was an artist for a local supermarket, so I was brought up around the art and creativity every day. Architecture is a really fun and exciting career. Um, you will get involved with something new every single day, whether that be um, going to site, drawing up some new plans, and it's really exciting to see something that you've drawn on a piece of paper come to life in front of your eyes. 